Hey Baldwins, I'm Lucy and this is Pussy Powered. In today's Quick Tip Monday, I'm gonna share with you some tips on how to begin sexual shadow work. Every one of us have a shadow, and this shadow includes all the aspects of ourselves that we have disowned, rejected, the parts of ourselves that we judge or hate or resist. Shadow work is the process of being more aware of what is in our shadow, then accepting it and integrating it into our being. What we do not own, owns us. And doing shadow work allows us to be more conscious about why we're doing the things we're doing, why we're feeling what we're feeling, and how we can more power shift so that we can create what we ultimately want in our lives. And just like it sounds, sexual shadow work is shadow work that has to do with sexuality. And since sexuality is an inextricable, fundamental part of who we are, it is life force energy, literally the energy from which we came. Sexual shadow work is extremely important. And while this video is absolutely not a comprehensive guide to sexual shadow work, the exercise I'm about to share with you will be a great starting point. And you can think of it as a launching pad that will help you get more clear about where you need to go next. And by the way, whenever you are ready to go deeper into your sexual shadow work and the process of sexual healing and uncovering all those layers of societal conditioning and expectations, I invite you to take a look at my 30-day program, Pussy Magic. In the meantime, you can begin with this simple exercise. In a journal or notebook, write down as many beliefs as you can possibly come up with, a minimum of 15 to 20 about these four things. One, beliefs about your sexuality. Two, beliefs about sex. Three, beliefs about femininity. And four, beliefs about masculinity. What this will help you do is begin to sift through all of the thoughts, which a belief is a thought that you continue to think is true, that you have around sexuality and sex and what traditional gender roles have told us should or shouldn't be expressed or even desired. And as you do this, you can keep it shallow, but I highly, highly suggest that you go as deep as you possibly can. As you discover or uncover or write out one belief, ask yourself what's beneath that where did that really come from what was the belief that led to that and as you do keep digging deeper you may find some surprising things about your family of origin about your relationship with mother figures or father figures childhood memories about pivotal moments that shape the way you see yourself and your sexuality you may find some deeply ingrained beliefs in there that have shaped how you see what is good, bad, right, wrong. Whatever comes to the surface, whatever you discover, remember that this is not the time to judge it or to try to hurry up and fix it and change it. This exercise is simply about becoming more aware of your beliefs around these four things. And from there, you can begin working on shifting one belief at a time, beginning with whichever one is impacting you the most right now. This video is not about how to shift the beliefs, simply about becoming more aware of what they are in the first place, which is in and of itself a lot. Remember that our thoughts produce emotions and from those emotions we will choose whatever actions we're gonna take. And the more aware that we can become of our beliefs and those thoughts that we keep believing are true, the more powerfully and consciously we can create our own reality, which absolutely includes your pleasure, your sexuality, and your relationships. And again, if you wanna go deeper into these practices and exercises, check out my program, Pussy Magic. All right, Wild Ones, that's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on sexual empowerment and healing for women. In the meantime, here's to your unleashing for a pussy-powered life.